It was really brought to national attention by the Ariel Castro case, which is very infamous. In that case, while he was on trial for kidnapping and rape and murder, he actually sought to be granted parental rights to the six-year-old daughter that was conceived with one of his victims. So that, that really brought the case to national attention. He was denied parental rights, fortunately, but not all cases are so clear-cut. And even if the cases are clear-cut, the rape victim is still subjected to years of litigation and court battles with a, with a person who's a convicted rapist. So in 2013, nearly a dozen other states passed similar legislation to this to address this gap in the existing law. This bill addresses the problem by providing that any person who has been convicted of a felony offense uh, under the, the chapter on rape and sexual assault in which the victim conceived and delivered a child uh, that the rapist shall not have custody or visitation rights with respect to the child also provides that they would not be able to inherit from the child, but it does make clear that their child support obligations are not terminated. They would still be subject to paying child support even though they would not be entitled to have parental or custody rights.